The New York Institute of Technology is helping the town of Hempstead save some money. The college donated an energy independent solar powered house to the town that's going to provide some office space with a very low electric bill. Amanda Gary reports. This house is energy self-reliant. That's because of several energy efficient elements built into it, such as solar panels. And officials say with the rate energy is being consumed these days, supporting natural alternatives is crucial to the environment. So, uh, I really believe in this, uh, and believe in uh, pursuing alternative energies, and so I believe that it, we have a serious role to play as government to educate and inform our residents that they too can get in on the green. Today, Hempstead Supervisor Kate Murray Murray unveiled this solar house as the cornerstone of the first of its kind energy park. It'll be used as an administrative office for the Conservation and Waterways Department and will also be used to teach visitors about the benefits of alternative energy. Through educating our public, educating our students, uh, we can show people that eventually we can absolutely erase our carbon footprint. This solar house was built by New York Institute of Technology students for a U.S. Department of Energy international competition. It looks like the energy and, and sustainability of the environment has become a global issue that will last. So we're happy to be part of that and to increase our activity in that area, uh, again, as, the, as a model, role model for society. Experts say the technology used in this home run by the sun can be used to generate solar power in any home and they say this will save residents more than just energy. I mean at the end of the day we're talking about a um, we're talking about cost really and and these technologies will ultimately save money. Once completed, along with the solar house, the energy park will include a solar and wind-powered clam nursery and a solar carport where electric cars can be recharged. In Hempstead, Amanda Gary, LI News Tonight.